The sound of the poor says it all. <laughs> it is Kentucky Bourbon Heritage Month, and now there are six new members in the Bourbon Hall of Fame. WDRB's Monica Hargens tells us what got them a spot on the famed list. From bourbon makers to bourbon tasters, the Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame is a 20 year tradition to honor the movers and shakers of the industry. And with COVID-19 stopping the last two ceremonies, this year was one to celebrate. The Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame is by far my favorite event of the year. It's the one time when we can all get together and celebrate bourbon's heroes. Kentucky Distillers Association created the Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame in 2001. A committee of past winners and other members of the bourbon industry select individuals and organizations that have made significant impacts on bourbon stature, growth, and awareness to be inducted. Let's make some history. This year's inductees are retiring Bardstown Republican Representative Chad McCoy, champion of several pieces of Kentucky legislation, the late Stephen Francis Thompson, founder and president of Kentucky Artisan Distillery and former president of Brown Foreman Distilleries. Julian Van Winkle III, president of Old Rip Van Winkle Distillery, the bourbon commonly known as Pappy. Andrea Marie Wilson, the chief operating officer of Michter's Distillery, and she was the first woman to sit as a chair of the Kentucky Distillers Association Board of Directors. Retiring U.S. Democrat Representative John Yarmuth for his work co-founding the Congressional Bourbon Caucus, and Cave Zemanian, founder and CEO of Rabbit Hole Distillery in Louisville. Also during the ceremony last week, Bourbon Crusaders presented Governor Bashir with a check worth $1.4 million, all raised for Eastern Kentucky flooding through a bourbon auction. But just as the level of destructiveness has been unprecedented, so has been the response. We have proven time and time again that we are stronger by working together. We are a family. A bourbon-loving family. Monica Harkins, WDRB News.